Hi everyone, I'm Marion. As some of you know, I work as a physiotherapist and I also teach Pilates. I absolutely love it. And LGFA have asked me to share with you some tips about Pilates, some information about Pilates, about what it is, how to do it. And uh, yeah, to share with you some mini Pilates workouts so that for those of you who haven't done it before or have, who don't know what it is or do or want to do some Pilates, that you can do it with me. Um, I've been teaching Pilates for about nine years. I teach it from the background of being a physiotherapist, so I'm quite particular about how I teach and about how I like my um, participants, I guess, to be. But not too much so, but we do need to focus on a few basic principles. So Pilates is an all body workout. It's a physical practice, um, but there is a sort of component of it about mindfulness as well, certainly in my classes. So um, we always do focus on the breath, um, nice breaths generally in through the nose and out through the mouth when we're doing our classes so it's nice and you're trying to do it constantly throughout the class um, we're trying not to make comparison in class so we're trying to just focus on ourselves and what we're doing our bodies because at the end of the day it's our minds and our bodies that matter and it's not anyone else's so that's definitely part of what we have to think about remind ourselves in flies so we'll get going. Today is going to be an introduction. Normally I do have a little bit of music in my classes, just something nice and relaxing. So we'll get that on. Introduction and then we're going to come back and do different um, the different parts of the body, different workouts. So feet together, that's toes apart, heels apart, and we're standing tall. So one of the principles um, with my scale of Pilates is posture and um, yes, that we think about height. So it's a nice tall spine and a long neck, head and neck placement. So imagine we could hold, but you're not like this, you imagine you could hold a little um, apple or a peach in between your chin and your sternum. They're not rib cages, we're keeping them slightly tucked in so they're not sticking out, they're not tucked in. They're nice and flat, gently tucked in. Neutral pelvis, briefly it's out, in, that's posterior and anterior tilting of the pelvis and then that's neutral. So try to keep our neutral pelvis whenever we are doing our movements. Warm up and cool down are always in standing and the body of the class is down on the mat. So we're going to be up on our feet today. Shoulder blades, drawing them back and down. Let them slump forward, breathe in, draw back. And breathe out. Breathe in, draw back. And breathe out. In, draw back. And out and slump. In today's day, we have so much sitting, sitting and bending, texting and typing. You have to remember to stand up tall, pull your shoulder blades back and down and to keep your neck long. More warm-up exercises, arms. Bend the elbows, palms up, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and out. In. All the time you breathe in, arms up, breathing out, one arm up, one arm down, stretching the shoulders, breathing in, swap it over. Breathing out, swap it over. Breathing in, swap it over. Keeping it tall and keeping the muscles in our legs are engaged, even though we're moving our arms. So you're squeezing your quads at the front, you're squeezing your glutes at the back. Keep it through nice, standing through nice, strong and active legs. <clears throat> Come back to the middle, breathing in, breathing out, up and out wide, and breathing in, coming back. And if you can't get that, that far, you can stop it here and come back. And if you can't, all the way out and back in. Generally, the pace works with your breath. Breathing in, you're looking up and back, and breathing out, back to the middle and down. So if you breathe faster, you move faster, or you can keep a slow breath, and then get your reps in for twice the speed of your breath. But generally, don't hold your breath, and make sure you're breathing steadily throughout your exercises. Breathing in the middle, shoulders back and down, breathing out, turning the way. So it's a gentle neck stretch, in middle, and out. And in middle, One more 
reach. Back to the middle, strong and steady through the shoulder blades, ribs and pelvis, up and down on the tiptoes. Again, squeezing the quads and squeezing the glutes as you squeeze the calves. So that is we'll work on strength, core stability. Do please remember your pelvic floor, so the little stabilizing muscles that let us not pee and not poo when we don't want to. So always remember to how to activate those muscles. Basically, you're just trying a little squeeze and tighten at the back passage like you're trying not to poo. Squeeze and tighten at the front like you're trying not to pee. Don't suck in your tummy when you do it. Keep your tummy relaxed. Certainly don't tense down through your tummy. It's pelvic for a squeeze and tighten up. Hold it. Keep those muscles engaged. And then throughout your exercise. So pies will also work on your balance and your coordination. So it's um, strength, core stability, pelvic floor, coordination and balance. And there is also mindfulness. So we're not worrying about anyone else in the class. We're just worrying about ourselves our bodies, our breath, our positioning. Add in, open out, back in and down. Squeeze this leg that you're standing on, squeeze the quads and the glutes, breathing away. Keeping it tall, opening up the hip, actively, back in and back down. Swap it over other side, balance, up and down. Squeeze all the muscles on that standing leg. Keep the pelvic floor engaged. Working on your balance. And it's fine if you need to tip onto a wall or put your foot down and up to start. Which lots of you I'm sure won't. Your balance will be much better than mine. Stick it on this leg, let the stretch. Pull the knee up to the chest. Hold it up strong, breath in and out and drop it down, pull it up the back through, grab your heel, pull it up to your bum and back down, same then on the other side, grabbing your knee up, stretch at the hip, stretch at the hamstrings and then back down, push it through, whoops, heel up to your bum. Always feel a nice stretch. Feet together, toes apart, heels apart, or hip distance apart. For some of the other stretches for the hips, we're going to go wider, toes and heels, so you're double hip distance apart. Breathing out, it's over to one side, knee bent, other knee straight, in middle, and other side. Stretching hips and groins, go wider with the feet if you don't feel a stretch. Add in the arm, down and across. Up and over, hold it, breath in and out. Other side. Down and across, up and over, and hold it, breath in and out. Middle, and chain. Down and across, up and over. One more to each side. into the middle. So guys, <clears throat> a very brief introduction to Pilates, all of the things that you work on, posture, breathing, strength, flexibility and principles about our breath and about our positioning. I'm going to see you soon for another video where we're going to work on hips of muscle group. I think we're going to start with our hips, glutes, all the sitting we're doing these days and have to get the glutes activating and build them up. So I'll see you soon with another video and have a lovely day.